Right, thank you members of the media uh, for availing your time. Uh, we'll uh, start with our press conference and uh, the floor is open for question and answers. Just to introduce you on my uh, far right is Luke Tangi, the middle is Leki Matang Tangivalu, and our assistant for Gibson. Gibbs. Now the floor is open for question and answers. Thank you. Just raise your hand so I can cue you in order. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Frankie from RNS, Bula. Uh, I guess it's the biggest game of your life. Uh, how are you guys facing it? How, what are you doing differently? Yeah, we, uh, we prepared very well this week. Uh, I know it's a really tough game for us this week. Well, we prepared really mentally disciplined. We've been focusing a lot this week, and I know the English is going to try to come on well, a revenge, you can say. But yeah, we will prepare well for that and now we will look forward to it. Okay. Yeah, uh, firstly, I'm uh, really proud of the boys, uh, what we've achieved so far. And um, yeah, it's been uh, a good week for us. We've been uh, uh, determined to win and uh, so what we've uh, learned on the last few games and uh, and uh, build on to this uh, tomorrow's game and one of the main keys is discipline okay. yeah it's certainly we've been a far more focused team I think um, our trainings have been excellent um, the boys' game knowledge has been, um, you know, tier one, tier one preparation this week. You know, and we've really picked ourselves up, trained with intensity, the discipline, um, and a real focus on being really clear on how we want to play the game, and obviously how England are going to attempt to to play us with their game plan. Going back to England, uh, how much? Have you analysed the game uh, you want to pick them? How much is it a new game? What and what does it mean? Yeah, obviously, you know, the teams that play Fiji have a, a particular blueprint in terms of game plan. Um, you know, we expect England will play a lot of um, territory. Um, they'll kick the ball a lot um, and attempt to put us under a lot of pressure. You know, both scrum more um, and line out. So we know that's coming. Um, we've also done a lot of work in terms of um, getting back to the, the style of play um, that we're known for, that um, we want our boys to play with the freedom and without fear um, and to give it a real um, uh, attacking spirit that we can approach this game. So we're very clear on how we want to play the game. And would that be something different to what we've been seeing at the World Cup? Certainly in the last two weeks, you know, our performances have been below where we want them to be. Um, but the way we've prepared this week um, certainly has come back to a level that will make us very competitive. Sorry, I was talking in terms of the general game, there's a lot of tactical kicking, there's a lot of... Um, I think when you're playing a team that wants to kick the ball a lot, you know, you have to enter into the, the kick duels. Um, so I'm sure that still will be a feature of, of both teams' play. But certainly when we have the ball on hand, you know, we want to play with more freedom uh, and uh, the attacking spirit that I think we've lacked in the last two weeks. We've learned uh, from uh, from the last game with Portugal, uh, and uh, that won't uh, bring us down or let us down. But we'll work on to uh, what we've uh, uh, <coughs> what were our weaknesses on the games, and uh, uh, we've uh, trained it this week, and uh, uh, we're determined to to play tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, against Portugal is history now, so we we're gonna leave the moment like this week as we're looking forward to it. I know we lost to Portugal, but we learn learn a lot from our mistakes. 
So we're going to leave the moment and we're going to play tomorrow against England. I know it's a challenge for us, but to be fair, things Portugal lost this history. No. Yeah, it's something that we've been talking uh, about it uh, all of this week, is to make history, because uh, we know that uh, we have uh, never gone through the semis. So yeah, that's something that uh, has really motivated the boys and uh, something that uh, we want to achieve and because uh, we always want to be a, we've wanted to be a history maker. So yeah, that's, uh, that's something we are, uh, are ready to, to do. Yeah, yeah so what can I say today? We, we're really focusing on creating history, and especially the people back at home is really watching over us. So we're looking forward to play against England tomorrow. So yeah, we're prepared to create history, and uh, it's now or never. So um, Jacob, you said that you Quarterfinal status in uh, 87, uh, 11, 7 are there with you as well. Why views and uh, Master Bill, uh, do they have uh, input as well? Mm -hmm. Sort of uh, motivating you again in the first Yeah, yeah, they've uh, <laughs> they've uh, they've a lot of inputs because uh, they've been talking about how uh, they. The, the, feel, the feelings of uh, uh, being in the quarterfinals and uh, uh, what we could do better. And they've been uh, motivating us to do better than them and uh, try to uh, move to, the, to, the, to where we can go, as far as we can go. And they've been really motivating us through the whole of the preparation. Clearly, you know, we've our preparations have moved up a, a gear in terms of intensity um, and the mental approach the players have, have given to the making sure they're prepared. I think, um, from a coaching point of view, we've for the last 14 weeks, you know, we've gone pretty hard at the, the boys in terms of fitness. Uh, it's been a common feature of our trainings. You know, probably I don't think we've had a Fijian team this well prepared and so this week um, you know we've really looked at our volume um, and how much we're doing to really give the boys a lot of energy going into this game so um, I think they'll be turning up with much more um, spring in their step and very determined uh, to perform. Any further questions? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Gibo, for the place. Thank you. Well done.